Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm doing a chatty get ready with me. It has been so long since I've done one of these. To be real, some of these moments are a little bit awkward. As always, everything will be listed down below. And if you have any questions about cruelty-free brands, make sure you head over to my website, logicalharmony.net. I've so many resources there for you guys and let's just get right into it i did already do my skincare for moisturizer i used my kipris pot of shade that stuff is so good and then i used a moisturizer and a serum from awake beauty they're this new skincare company and they are a sister brand to tarte they sent me their stuff a while ago i'm very impressed i'm gonna go in with primer i'm gonna be using kind of a drier foundation today and my skin has been it's been a little weird since the plane so i'm gonna use the smashbox photo finish primer oil and then mix that with the photo finish radiance primer this is a really nice blend if you have dry skin or you want a really dewy finish i'm just gonna take a tiny bit like three four drops Four drops seems like a lot, so let's do that. And I've noticed because I'm going to be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation that this primer oil works really well with this foundation. I've tried different beauty oils underneath and most of them do not play well with this foundation. So that's why I'm just gonna use their own. I'm taking like that much of the Radiance Primer. Very accurate measurements today. All right, super duper glowy. I'm curious, what are your guys' favorite primers lately? I love primers. I have an excessive amount, but I always like trying new ones. I feel like primers really do make such a huge difference with makeup application and with wear. And just with your skin, it's like an added skincare step so much of the time. So I'm going to use the sponge from Sigma. This one is very nice. I have a video, like a demo first impressions. I was honestly expecting it to not be good. I feel bad saying that, but I just, I just wasn't sure what to expect. I used it and I really liked it. So I'm gonna take a couple pumps of the Studio Finish. This is shade 2.2. I think this should match me right now. I just self tanned, so it's always a little tricky to figure out my right shade, especially for filming, because when you have the bright light on you, sometimes the shades look different in the monitor or in the mirror than they do in real life. At least like for me sitting right here, it can be a little bit different. Pat that in. Does anyone else absolutely hate the noise that beauty's blenders or beauty sponges make on your skin? I hate it so much, especially in like when Justin's editing the videos and I hear it because we have the microphone, so it's like amplified. Oh, it's the grossest noise. Is that just me? Can't just be me. So this blender does definitely sheer things out. I feel like it gives such a nice finish though. It does definitely use more foundation too. That's the other thing about it. There are definitely some pros and some cons. I went over that in my video. One of the big cons is you do use way more foundation. A big pro though is I feel like the finish is very, very smooth, especially with a heavier foundation. And I don't think studio finish, it's not necessarily like heavy, but it's very full coverage and if you do anything on camera, I say this every time I use it, if you do anything on camera, you just need this foundation. It's so good. It looks so flawless on camera. It's kind of mind blowing. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite foundation lately? Because just like with primers, I love foundations. And do you guys want the bring back of like more foundation demos and things like that? I've been debating because I felt like we were doing them so often for a while. And I kind of like burnt out on trying new foundations, which is weird because I love foundations, but I burnt out on kind of like that review process. But if you guys want to see more, let me know because I definitely have more foundations to talk about now. And just, I don't know, maybe I won't do like the full day test on camera. Maybe it'll be like I use it ahead of time and then show it and then give a review. I think that's what we did for the studio finish video. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know because I love me some foundations and it's a fun way to do it. So this is the Studio Skin Concealer, light warm. An ample amount of that on there. I'm gonna use this to highlight too. Also, so this stuff advertises as waterproof. It definitely is. I wore it when we went swimming at a river the other weekend and it was still there, which I was super impressed by. I feel like a lot of times waterproof makeup, that it's just not, it's not actually waterproof. Like it's water resistant. If you get water actually on your face, it melts off and it's gone. But this stuff actually stayed put. 
And what I did was I just put it under my eyes and then like buffed it out all over my face. Like I blended it super duper well, just to give really like light coverage. But at the end of the day, when I wash my face, makeup definitely came off. And that was exciting. Cause I'm always skeptical with waterproof claims. Use my lip balm. I need, I have a new tube in this, but this stuff is like the best. Also, I'm gonna try and mention everything I'm using, but if I don't, it'll be down below. No promises. I'm mentioning it, I mean, not that it, it'll be listed. We just canceled Netflix and Hulu because I felt like, well, I shouldn't say I, we felt like we were spending too much time watching senseless TV at the end of the night instead of just going to sleep. But before we canceled, we watched season one of Luke Cage. And I'm a sucker for terrible action movies, TV shows. I'm not like, I guess I do like Marvel, but I was more of a DC person growing up. But Luke Cage was pretty good. I was super into that. I think I just like anti-heroes in general versus superheroes. I'm not a huge superhero fan. What was that movie recently? Is it The Avengers? I have no interest in stuff like that. I have no interest in any of that. But anti-heroes, totally my thing. I also just associate so many of them with Die Hard and I'm like, what if this is Nakatomi Plaza? What would Luke Cage do? So lately I have been using the sponge to apply my powder. I just do a tiny, tiny bit. I feel like it just blends a little bit better and presses into the skin and gives me just a little more full coverage. Smashbox sent me this and I really like it, but it's really difficult to open. There we go. I don't know why. So I think we might be going to LA soon for some stuff. And I'm curious what else we might do there. Cause I think if we're gonna go, we're debating like driving instead of flying just cause then we can bring more stuff and it's like on your own schedule, you can kind of do whatever. Cause once you're in LA, if you fly down, you, you're kind of trapped. Like you have to take an Uber everywhere. But if we have our car, it gives us a little more freedom. We can kind of just do whatever we want. So we're kind of debating what we want to do there. And if any of you are in LA, let me know some places I should check out. We know some places for good food. We're gonna be down there mostly to meet with some brands which is always exciting and always fun. I just, I love meeting the people in real life, you know, like you talk to them through email or DM and it's so nice to actually meet, meet these like real people. That's what I love about when we just went to Lush is like everyone that works for Lush is so sweet. And I talk to them online, but it's really nice to actually like spend time with them and sit down and hang out and get to know them as like a human being, not just, you know, this person that works at this brand. I really, really enjoy doing that. I think at least some pretty good friendships that way. Don't know if they would say the same, but um, I really enjoy it. So I'm hoping when we're in LA, we get a chance to do that with some people from some brands. There's definitely one person that we've already kind of done that with and she is, she's amazing. So I'm really excited to hang out with her. Like, even if we never meet at her work, I'm just excited to hang out with her in general. Do I wanna do this highlight? Do I wanna double up on highlight? Yeah, let's be real, I do. So I think we're gonna go to LA and then I think maybe Portland because I wanna go see my family. Um, and then we're also talking about going back to LA in August. So it's gonna be like a busy few weeks. So you guys might see more of these chatty get ready with me's just cause they're pretty easy to film. And it's kind of like if I'm getting ready to film, what is going on here? If we're getting ready to film anyway, like why not just film this as well? But yeah, what do you guys have going on this summer? Are you going on any fun trips? Are you going on any work trips? That's mostly what ours are. They're fun, but they're also work. Um, what are you guys up to? Tell me your thoughts. Did I curl my lashes? I feel like I did, but I'm gonna do it again because I can't remember. Certain things like that are just so automatic that then I can't remember. This is kind of my like get ready with me process for filming. That's why a lot of times you guys don't see it. It's because I'm a little all over the place. 
I'm um, using ColourPop shadows, which I actually really like. I wanna get some more. Ooh, have you guys tried their foundation? Do I need to order it? I feel like I do, cause it's cheap. And I've heard really good things, but I'm curious if you guys have tried it and what you think. Same with their concealer. I've never tried their concealer and I feel like I hear such mixed things on it. Like some people absolutely love it and then so many people absolutely hate it. And I've heard that the formula is kind of like thicker and maybe that's why. And then I've heard some people say it oxidizes really badly and then other people who are like, oh, it doesn't oxidize at all. So I'm curious, maybe I should get it just to like try that out. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love first impressions videos and things like that because to me, I'm always curious, like as a content creator, I research so many products and you hear such conflicting things about so many of them. And then it just makes me wonder like, well, what is it actually like? And I wanna put that stuff to the test, you know? And I feel like first impressions are the best way to do that because you don't have any time to work with it ahead of time. I know a lot of people prefer like reviews, but I like both. I like being like, this is what I've heard. I'm gonna test it out, see what happens. You, have, you haven't had a chance to work with it and like make it work for you at all. You're just going in and seeing what happens. And I feel like that's a super valuable experience. I know not everyone feels that way, but I think it's super important. And I really, really like it. But let me know what you guys prefer. Do you prefer those first impressions and like the demos? Do you prefer like reviews? Because I know a lot of times first impressions, it can't be a review. You simply like don't have enough time with the product. At the same time, you can also decide pretty quickly if you're ever gonna use it again or not. And I think that's valuable too. And I try to do, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I've had a first impression. I've definitely had some where I've been like, this is terrible, I will not touch this again. And I've returned a lot of products after them. And I think that stuff is helpful to see too, because I feel like you guys see, you know, so many products that content creators buy and get sent, but you probably don't see from that many people like what they return or what they declutter because it doesn't work for them or things like that. I know some people love declutter videos and those kinds too, and a lot of people don't watch them. So I feel like first impressions videos can be a really good way to kind of cover that base too. Sparkly orange. I've been doing this makeup look a lot on Instagram lately because I'm really into orange. I don't know why. Do I? You guys are gonna see it. I feel like it's similar to like my classic kind of look, but it's a little bit different. What else? I have so many like exciting things coming up. We have some different collabs coming up. I just can't talk about them yet. So it's kind of killing me to not be able to like talk about this stuff with you guys. Cause as I'm going through and getting ready, there are certain things where I'm like, oh yeah, this is coming up. And then I can't share it. It is what it is. I'm gonna do my brows. Lately, I've actually been enjoying doing my brows before eyeshadow. It's just not in like my filming habit to do it, but I feel like it helps me to figure out how I want them to lay and what kind of colors I want to apply. It just helps me make the whole thing look more even. And I've also switched it up. I've been applying this brow gel first and then going in with especially the brow powder from Anastasia while my brows are still wet from the gel and mixing that all together. And I don't know, something about that I feel like has been really nice. It's like blended really well. And for a while I was gonna get my brows waxed and shaped, but I feel like I like where they are right now. And I like, I don't know, I just feel like they've been easier to do lately. They're at like a decent grow out point. Cause I don't want them thinner, that's the thing. And whenever I go get them waxed or like shaped or anything, I feel like they make them thinner. And I don't want that. I just want the shape like a little more polished. Like if anything, 
I would want microblading to fill them in a little bit more. Come through that. Easy peasy. I think too, that's the thing for me about summer makeup is it can be a lot simpler. And lately, especially because we've been traveling more, I've been so much more about like function and making it easy to do, especially in not great lighting, like a hotel. And something that I just know is quick and easy and looks fine. That's kind of like, that's my MO, let's be real. Did I put blush on? Yeah, I did put blush on. Sometimes I can't remember these things. I'm gonna do lashes today, but first I'm gonna try not have Mary. Yeah. I'm gonna use my own Naturel liner to get my lash line darker. If I can get the Smashbox thing open, because it's my only mirror, there we go. But yeah, tell me what big plans you guys have this summer. I'm curious. Tell me what products I should pick up. I've been really good about not buying stuff for a while and just saving the money slash it's going to other things right now. But I kinda wanna pick up a couple new things just cause sometimes that's fun to do shopping too and just pick up whatever. Like I said, like the ColourPop foundation. I'm really debating that cause it's so cheap. Oh my gosh, why did I close this? Why did I do that to myself? I feel like I've gotten so in the habit of not talking while I'm putting makeup on that this is actually a little bit difficult for me to like do a chatty get ready with me which I used to have the opposite problem where I would talk too much while I was putting stuff on. But I feel like I've changed so much in that way. Okay, I'm gonna put on lashes. These are the House of Lashes Boudoir Mini. I've been wearing lashes more lately too. Who am I? But they've just been fun and easy. I just have to trim them like way, way down from their original size because apparently I've short, short lids. I don't know how you would describe it but I have to cut off like so much of the lash. Maybe I should just be buying half lashes instead, but they don't come in as many cute styles. All right, get the glue on. I might cut this part out, depends on how successful I am at applying these. Sometimes it's really easy for me and other times it's like the most difficult thing in the world. Let me get my mirror a little closer. I did just get my hair cut again recently. I'm debating coloring it still, but I don't know. It's like all my natural color. And that is kind of hard to let go. So it's like when you wanna change, you know what I mean? Like it takes so long to grow it out that then you're like, do I actually wanna start over on this? I'm not sure if it's worth it. That was beautiful, oh my gosh. See, this is why we might cut this out because sometimes I am no good at this. I'm definitely trying more though. I'm just like not, not taking it too seriously and just kind of taking my time. And it's like, if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's fine too. And also I think too, just figuring out what lashes that work with your eyes. Like as weird as that is to say, but I feel like lash bands can vary so much from brand to brand. Like why? This one does not seem to curve enough for my eye. The other day, I somehow accidentally like glued my eye shut basically. And that was a little terrifying. Adventures in makeup, right guys? What false lashes do you guys like? Cause I wanna try more for sure. And I've been using a lot of like House of Lashes and I have some Ardell. Honestly, I'm not crazy about the Ardell ones. Like they're cheap. So then I feel like it's easy for me to like practice with them and popping them on and off. That said, I do feel like their band is really different from all the other brands that I'm trying. Like I have some House of Lashes ones. I have some Luxie. No, is it Luxie? I can't remember. It's some other brand that sold at Ulta. Um, I have some from them, I have some from Tarte, and I feel like the Ardell band is really different than all the others, so I feel like it's not really doing me any favors to practice. Oh yeah, and I have Wet n Wild ones too. Or not Wet n Wild, Elf. And those have actually been pretty good, the ones in the black box. They're definitely huge. I don't know, it's just been interesting to me how like even little stuff like this can be so, so different from each other. 
struggle is real and I'm okay sharing that because I think a lot of you guys can probably relate. Like it would drive me crazy when I'd watch people's videos and they pop on fall season like a second. And I'm like, how do you do that? How did you get that all lined up and perfect so quickly and easily? Oh, and of course, as I say that, that flash goes on pretty smoothly. need to like bend this one more. Why is it? It's like sitting straight. Good enough. Moving on to mascara, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Low Fat Lashes. Just put a little bit, let's say on the bottom. Oh, I didn't put a shadow on my lower lash line. I'll do that after. And then they'll be even, evenly messed up. dry and then I will spool it away. So I read that that was a trick for doing that and I feel like it only works with like 50% of mascaras and the rest it doesn't work with at all so I'm just gonna blend that away. If it's there it's there and what can you do? I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to be functional. I'm gonna put some liner over the band and help it blend a little bit more. And then my waterline too. I feel like doing your waterline helps so much when you're wearing falsies. I don't know. I don't know if this chatty style is boring for you guys or not. I personally always like them when people do them, but I feel like I'm so out of practice with them that I'm not sure how, how this is going over. It might be terribly boring, and I apologize for that if it is. Just life, you know? Sometimes things are boring, sometimes they're not. Yeah, and like I said, I feel like we have so much going on that I just can't really talk about. I definitely do though, I want suggestions on products from you guys, because like I said, I've been really good about not shopping. So I want to pick up a few things, especially affordable things. Uh, I'm trying, I got sent a few other things, like I've been sent some foundations recently, like the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation, and I've been posting polls on Instagram, asking if you guys want first impressions, and usually the answer is yes. But it's so helpful because sometimes the majority response is no and then I know not to really waste my time. If you're not following me on Instagram too, definitely do, because I do ask for that type of feedback way more than I used to. I used to just kind of film like whatever I wanted, um, which I still do to a large extent, but I'm trying to get better about asking you guys if there's certain stuff that you want to see. It's just helpful feedback for me to have, helpful for me to know if there's stuff that's especially interesting, or not at all interesting, and everyone has their own preferences too. So it's really interesting to see. I will say it's been interesting to see who votes yes and no, because the majority of people who vote no are people who never interact with me anyway. So that has been really, really interesting to see that come through there. Uh, I'm gonna use Crushed Bloom from Au Naturel. This is amazing. It's like peachy, it is a little orange. And quite a few people have bought it and told me on them it's straight up orange. It is definitely like an orange peachy shade, but I love it. And I think too with these, cause they're stains, your natural lip color, just like with lipstick, is going to impact what it looks like. It's so good. Yeah, I think when I first put this on, I felt like it was straight up orange too but now I freaking love it. Do a little more highlight, actually. Do you guys have this? If not, you need it. It's the Blush Gems Highlighter from e.l.f. So 
nice, so good. All right, now that my nose is crazy highlighted. Oh, I forgot setting spray. What am I even doing with my life? Okay, let me do that. Welcome to a very real filming session with me where I forget half the stuff I was supposed to do. But yeah, let me know if you guys want more chat and get ready with me. Maybe I will start doing Q and A's with them. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out some different ways to do some different content. We definitely want to do more get ready with me type stuff because it helps me to try new makeup. It helps me to share thoughts with you guys in just a more natural way. Some things just, some products, I'm not gonna have enough say, to say to do a full video on and there are things I use often so it's just an easy way to share thoughts with you guys. I don't know, just something different, something fun. Let me know what you wanna see. <laughs> thanks for taking time to spend, thanks for taking time. Thanks for spending your time with me today, guys. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.